Hello everyone, Fire Chris Gaming here and welcome back to another video. We're back now with some Dark Souls 3, but before that, I just want to have a look, just explain something. This here, downloadable content, I will be playing the DLC when it drops on October the 25th, so, and I will make sure that I do not spoil myself. That is going to be first-hand experience, and I will, hopefully, uh, get, get my ass handed to me in the DLC. But uh, regardless, let's get on to the game and continue off where we left off. That didn't even make any sense, but I don't care. There we are, we're back here now, back where we left off, and uh, I did have a minor confession, is that... I did change my character up a bit, so I did get the Lothric Knights, I did grind a bit for the Lothric Knight set, and that is pretty much it. Uh, I didn't do anything else, but there is one thing, a couple of things actually, that I want to do before moving on through the Undead Settlement. First, I have an old debt to settle. Where is he? If, if you couldn't tell at this point, I'm looking for Leonhard. Where's he gone? Did I get the cracked red eye orbs from him? I, I, don't, I don't even know. Maybe I sold them off in the last episode. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is since, the, since this ends, end up a better fight with you, then the orc is just going to go down now. What is it now. Simple. This ends in a duel between you and me in the Abyss Watchers. I am going to end you now. Uh, oh. Just immediately parried. Ow! I'm gonna get back and heal. That was a lot. That was that hurt, basically. But dodge. Yes, that was it. Nice. Get it going. Get a nice rhythm going. No. Oh, you. Mm. Oh, that was a mm. parry opportunity wasted. Never mind. Because you're gone. You crawled out of the ground, for God's sake. From the ground to the top. And now I don't care about that. But the other thing I want to do is go back to the, to the High Wall of Lothric, and I want to pick up an item that I always forgot every single time I went for a playthrough of this game. And it's a real shame. Because the item that I'm going to pick up is absolutely fantastic. You see, I always went down this hidden path, got the item, and didn't realise that if you broke all this, and this, you could drop down here, and... Well, let's just break some more stuff. Stuff and have a uh, floating wood, never mind. Seems familiar ahead? What? Oh, regardless, it's what's in this chest. A store of straight sword. That is what I always missed, and I'm kicked myself for every single time I missed it. Well, I'm kicking myself now for every single time I mi missed it. Um, there's nothing else that I needed to get from here. Have I got a homeward bone? No, I don't. Ah, uh, that's a problem. So I'm going to have to fight. Right, now that that's all out of the way, let's go and actually make our way through the area where we were at the first place. 124 plus 53. I think, yeah, this is probably the better weapon right now. Uh, three dogs. Oh, double kill. Now you, don't you dare close that door. You had a fair bit of health there. So the design for this game really is something that is horrific. They they got a blend between obviously the Dark Souls and the more kind of royals and I don't know, kind of how to describe it, just general kind of like the idea of kings and lords with the imagery and the graphic design of Bloodborne, I'd say. Rather disturbing. I'm not, I'm not even calling anyway Dark Souls child friendly, not the original ones, but more child friendly than this one, I'll say that much. 
Fire in the hole. Come on, guys. You've got to at least put up some of a some fight. Now, you see, this guy is the beginning of how you get on to the beginning of the usuration. Usuration? I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Literally, I'm going to put the word up for you on the screen right now. And off. How do you spell that? Well, sorry, not how do you spell it, sorry. I just... <sighs> God, I'm useless. How do you say that? What's the pronunciation for that? Uh, regardless, I'm going to accept your service because you give me free levels up and you're awesome. Oh, I am honoured, truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. As my sword is going through your head. <laughs> oh, I love just putting that in those... Oh, frozen... Well, best places where it looks like it could be quite funny. And that is a bit of a later game area right in front of us. No, it's funny, you can see this. That You access this area through the Farron Keep area, which is much later, which I'm just going to add. I hate that area, so prepare for me to get extremely salty through there. But that's actually, they have some very good loot through that way, so that's the only reason why I'd give that one any bit of a pass. Ooh! But... <laughs> Perfect flop. <laughs> oh dear. There we are. He dropped something. What's he dropped? Rubbish. <laughs> Th thanks. Really, really appreciate it. Just for that, I'm going to smash up all your vases. Another Nana disappeared. So grant and carry the cage. He ever had his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. What? What? Well, that made perfect sense, didn't it? That, that, that was, that, that, that was confusing. I have no time for riddles. This isn't... I have no time for riddles right now. Just let, let... Let me get on with the task of saving the world. Uh, okay. It's a bit of a... I'm just... Interested, that's all. Because I don't trust him with the great big machete on his... On it, uh, carrying him. Now, stay still. Wait, did I miss an eye? Did, did one? Oh! I have never watched full cutscene. That legitimately made me jump. Oh, I was so loud. Jesus Christ! Mm. No, no, that legitimately made me jump. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that wasn't nice. Oh, God. The jump scares of this game are supposed to be later on in the Ethereal Dungeon, not now. Now, all I've got to do is run for the bonfire. Where is it? Where is it? It's down here. There we go. We get another Titanite Shard. That was inches away. I'm pretty sure I didn't get out of that, but, uh, never mind. Someone died? Okay, then. Also, yeah, I didn't find this bonfire until much later on through my early playthroughs of this game. I didn't realise it was, um, it, uh, we, they actually had this here. I was always wondering, how do you get onto the roof of this place to stop the people throwing firebombs at you? That's how. Bonfire there. Go up here. And here. Oh! 
That's not good. Um, this is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Move it. Move, move, move. Just get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down. I am still alive. Now, I've got to make sure that I don't die. I have no healing items. Should I try and run past? Or should I try and stay and fight? I'm always one to stand and fight. Just need to be careful. Uh huh. Nah. Nah, nah. Would you just? Oh, now, now they're active. No. <laughs> my health is so low. Look at my health. It's just one fall that was too long, too any longer than that it was, than what it was, and I'd be dead right now. But I am still alive. That was a bit too close to comfort. I'm gonna go spend these souls quickly. You know this that this little area of the undead settlement has beaten me more than I thought it would have to be, if I'm fully honest right now. So, what do I do now? Do I either A, make a run for the undead bone shard and try and fight the curse rotted great wood, or do I go for the giant and meet one of everyone's favourite characters? Or side characters. I think we need to go and see our side characters, don't we? We need to go see the onion man. I'm of course referring to Siegfried. Just, come on, how can you not like him? He's a lovable buffoon of, he's the lovable buffoon of this game. Wait, actually no, I'm going to fight Hodrick actually. I can fight Hodrick, so Hodrick is the person I will fight. There he is. Goodbye. The fact you can just open a fight with that, it's just kind of depressing. Really, I'm pretty sure you're just at half health and you just chugged. Come on. Oh, I mean, I got the bleeding effect on him. Oh, God. Backstab. Is he dead? I think he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he killed himself. The thing that just takes away his health for some reason. I don't know what it is, but it killed him. Uh, no item from you. That was... That was really easy. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. He's finished, he's finished. Oh my god. There's the guy on the end there, and... He's not moving, it seems. Now... I'm going to wait until the dog clears off, and then... It <laughs> perfectly! Swung the camera back perfectly in time to see the most pathetic thing falling off the edge. Oh, That's got to be the highlight of the recording right there. What the? Huh? I never had to open that before. Why is there a fog door? What the? Ah how? Oh. Okay. That nearly propped my bleed. I'm not going anywhere near that. Why is the fog door up? Have I done something wrong? Secret! Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
Let's go. Oh, which side was it? It's this side. Huh? Okay. We have four Estus and near max health to defeat this guy. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. I'm sorry. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. No, no, it's not square. It's round. The riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> that was me. That was me. Don't take credit for what I did. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I yeah, I wonder why. So I thought. Then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast. The demon? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Uh, okay, let me think once. Okay, let me think twice. Yeah, I'm going to go down there. I could try talking some sense into him. Really? No, I think not. He's far too overheated. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the worst joke ever. That is the worst joke ever, but somehow... I think just because... Since we just love him as a character, I think we just don't care. He, he literally... He could say the worst thing ever and no one would care because it came out of the mouth of Seaford. But, uh... Hey! You! Let's fight. Wow, that was a... Ow! Oh god, whoa, whoa. Ow! Okay then, let's get away. Uh, Siegfried, Siegfried, help me. Siegfried, Siegfried! Ow, that was a mistake. Siegfried, help me! You missed. Oh! one hurt. That come oh oh god no. Oh that missing by inches. Thank you, Siegfried. <sighs> Luckily Siegfried just worked as that guy's punching bag for a minute. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> you see, I would gesture at this point, but my select button doesn't work on my controller. I think it's broken. So, yeah, annoyingly, I can't do that. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> <laughs> just the sudden just flop of the head. I think it just makes this perfect. <sighs> you really are just a lovable buffoon.